the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. But if they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. So see to Moose Bohan. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You, you didn't have fun? Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seat. Since it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Great. Now we can make it across. Anything illuminating. It's a bear trap. Spawning a little red ah. like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so.
So meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your needs, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You are given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. <sighs> a reminder, brother. That Svartalfine slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs. Look, the fish are coming back. Oh, so they Okay, what other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back. Then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Krung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. A while ago, you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression.
We're looking for Durlin. You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... Huh? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this is... Not fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Ah! <laughs> 
As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to me to a mind. Ah, dear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Thank <laughs> you. 